There's a lot of YouTube videos out there that shows how to bypass the many safety features on this beautiful little Phoenix HP 22A such as grinding down the metal part that goes underneath the ra uh, magazine release. It won't release now. You have to have it on safety, which is a lot of bother to a lot of people. So they grind down this and they bend the spring up, possibly uh, voiding their warranty. It's all unnecessary. Let's assume that you have a cartridge in the chamber. And in fact, let's put a cartridge in the chamber. I'm away in, in a safe place. If anything happens, nothing's going to get hurt except my feelings and ego. And I like to use the massad rack. Well, you got to have it off of safety. Now we have one in the chamber and it's ready to fire. You fire that one. And of course, another one would be in the chamber to fire again. You don't want that. You only wanted it to fire once. So what do you do? Simply put it back on safety so you can release the magazine. Release the magazine just a little bit, all the while putting just a little bit of pressure on your safety up here. And you will experience the safety going down. Now you can extract that and rack it one time. There's your other cartridge, and you don't have to rack it ten times to clear your magazine. It's that simple, and modifying your weapon is totally unnecessary. Now there was another issue that I had with this beauty, where I couldn't get the lock to work, and I was going to modify the little pin in there that, that makes the lock work, because I thought maybe there was just something that was too thick or something. My bad. It's quite simple. It won't go in. This is the problem I had. I thought there was something wrong with the gun. Simply pull this back one notch and now the lock will go in and it will lock. It's all that simple. Don't have to modify it. Don't have to uh, bring the warranty into question. These are beautiful little weapons. Uh, up until 1975, is Israeli Mossad used 22 caliber, that's like the Israeli CIA, as along with Israeli uh, air marshals, used 22 caliber. They used the Beretta 70 and 71. So these can be, with training, lethal weapons. If it's too heavy to carry, too bulky, you won't carry it and you'll leave home without it. If it costs too much to operate, such as 45, 40, uh, 9 millimeter cartridges, you won't practice to maintain your shooting proficiency. These are probably the best made, inexpensive, small bore pistols made in America. I am so impressed with this. I love it. I do have a Yahoo Group's website it's called Phoenix Arms. Come and look for me and share your thoughts with me. Thank you for reviewing this video.